Yeah, Greg, at this point in time, they're still searching for the man responsible for this for this these shootings, but they did put his image out in hopes that someone may recognize him before another crime is committed. Tonight, the search is on for the person believed to be responsible for at least three shootings in Midtown last week. The crime spree started last Wednesday along North Belvedere Boulevard when a man was shot. Investigators say nearly 10 shots were fired. Prior to the shooting, the suspect reportedly said a name, then opened fire, shooting at a vehicle and the victim, who claimed not to know the suspect, according to a police report. The violence ended up carrying over to Anglis Street on Thursday. That's where a 65-year-old man was shot after he took a picture of an alleged traffic infraction. The victim told investigators as he was trying to contact police, the two men who committed the traffic infraction rolled up and one of them started shooting at him. Despite being under fire, the victim managed to take a picture of one of the men involved, who investigators were able to connect to another shooting at an apartment complex along North Belvedere. We cannot constantly allow these children to do this stuff. Last Thursday, a woman was shot multiple times after answering her front door. She told police a suspect may have been looking for her son, who was shot on Wednesday. Investigators believe the suspect in all of these shootings is between the age of 18 and 20. As police work to determine a motive, community activist Stevie Moore is calling for changes. You know these kids out here in these streets? Why don't you lock them up? Why don't you get them? And stop putting the blame. Stop blaming everybody and blame the community. They are our children. And tonight, the woman that was shot is still recovering in the hospital. If you recognize the suspect, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers, that number 901-528-CASH. Reporting here live outside of Crump Precinct Station, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.